fight or flight. Where did that term originate? So I'm glad you asked, I'm about to tell you. So it's 1897, a young physiologist, his name is Walter Cannon, is studying mice. And uh, he just happens to notice that when the mice are stressed, peristalsis, like the muscular contractions that aid in digestion, they stop completely. It's like, oh my God, that's so weird. Like why, why is it when they're stressed, their muscular contractions are stopping? Then he noticed other things. Their breathing was altered, heart rate was different, clotting was different. He could not figure out why was it when these rats were stressed, they were going through all these bodily physiological changes. Okay, and I'm gonna read what he wrote, it's just a paragraph. These changes, the more rapid pulse, the deeper breathing, the increase of sugar in the blood, the secretion from the adrenal glands were very diverse and seemed unrelated. Then one wakeful night, after a considerable collection of these changes had been disclosed, the idea flashed through my mind that they could be nicely integrated if conceived as bodily preparations for supreme effort in flight or in fighting. In that moment, that physiologist, Walter Cannon, coined the phrase fight or flight. That was groundbreaking work to show the mind-body connection. You perceive stress, real or perceived stress, is going to produce physiological changes in the body. And our body is designed for short-term stress. We do very well. But if we are chronically in a fight or flight state, that's when we have problems. And of course, I've got more on that. Let me know what you think.